Hi. Hi. Thanks so much. Um, real quick, there's a few people that I'd like to bring up on stage who uh, helped craft what you saw and also the other films. Uh, first off, where's uh, Luke? Luke Geisbuehler, um, our cinematographer, DP for all three of the films of the Tom Trilogy. Luke, Luke, uh, Luke was also the cinematographer of, of the Borat film, so the last time, actually he was in his theaters when Borat premiered here. Uh, let's uh, also bring up Shelby Siegel, one of the editors of the film. Shelby also uh, edited a lot of them. Um, Michael, her husband, is the other editor, and then uh, Sydney, their six-month-old son, was sleepy back there. Was born during the edit, so he's kind of like the third editor of the team. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Noah Chasen from the film. Noah, come on up. And also uh, Pamela Pachowski, who's our, one of our assistant producers. So come up to you, Pamela. So we, we have a brief time for a Q&A, and I imagine this conversation will spill out onto the sidewalk uh, afterwards. But uh, throw up your hands for questions, and let's get a couple from the audience. Yes, you there, ma'am. Can I just ask the mayor to stand up? I'm sure the mayor is there. Yes. <laughs> is, is, uh, is Rob Ford here in the building? <laughs> Doug, are you here? Neither of you are here. Tweedledum or Tweedledum. <laughs> I think he left really quickly at the end. Uh, another, another question? He's got a question. Yeah, you, sir. Yep, you. Uh, I think I can say on behalf of everybody, we laugh, we cry, we love this food. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, Enrique Peñalosa. Isn't he awesome? He's actually running again right now. He's the front runner to be mayor again in Bogota. The elections are next month, so keep that eye on the news. It seems like you found a lot of cities that are doing really amazing things. In this process, did you find cities that were not doing it right and doing some of the mistakes that they mentioned, like copying America's mistakes? Yeah, well, I think we tried to talk about that a little bit in the film, and showing some of the things like um, you know, the Chinese cities, the development there, too. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, we were trying to look at some of the creative solutions that were going on. I, I know that it's um, usually not the case that things are done right. But um, I think that you can find negative uh, <laughs> examples pretty much everywhere you look. I, I won't talk about Toronto unless you guys want me to talk about <laughs> Toronto. My dear. The waterfront development plan. Oh. <laughs> like, uh. This city really needs a mega mall and a giant Ferris wheel on the, on the waterfront. <laughs> yeah. There is a great project that I just saw today on Dundas, that little um, Street Market, the one they're building under shipping containers and the sidewalk. See, that's like what the city needs more of, not, um, and, uh, yeah. Don't get me started on the bike lines. It's just ridiculous. Uh, this gentleman here in the blue. Yeah, what was the process by which you found such uh, articulate visionary people in all the world? How did you locate these people? <laughs> um, <laughs> the question was, how did we locate the people um, in the film? For about six months before I started filming, this is, it took two and a half years to make the film. But for about six months, I, I, I really kind of met with architects and planners and um, other people involved and just sort of, you know, getting kind of ideas about who would be exceptional people to profile. Um, Pamela was uh, also at that point with the Urban Age Project in, in, uh, in London, and uh, we met at a conference in 2009, and Pamela has, you know, helped advise on that too. But it's a lot of just, um, I mean, I have like Google uh, news alerts for every kind of city thing you could think of. Zoning, controversy, city, just all those things. I probably get 100 alerts a day. Um, there's just so much going on, so it's impossible to try to cover it all in an 85-minute film. 
because it's constantly evolving so we tried to you know get people that we thought were doing interesting work and who could speak to it and it's always you interview someone and they say oh you've got to talk to Jan Gale in, uh, in Copenhagen because he's got some great ideas and we just chained it together so and we can hear from some of your guests about what, what uh, their reactions to the film <laughs> uh, no no I haven't seen the film yet so. Well, I, I certainly would echo the sentiments of the gentleman in the back there, which is it's an extraordinarily important film, uh, you know, regardless of where you stand on different issues, to be able to enter into a dialogue, to be informed and to be aware of what the situation is that we're facing as an increasingly urbanized world, I think is really, really critical. And uh, that's something that I would, you know, for obvious reasons, I think this is a really important film. And, I would agree that everybody should go out and see it. I, I echo that. I, I would also add, relative to the conversation about how did you find these people, they've been talking to each other. There's a great network of really inspired urbanists who've been doing great work in the city, and but now that half the population is urban, the real issue is the public has to get involved. So I think that's what Gary's film accomplishes. It's not just seeing the film, it's actually feeling motivated to make a change. Time for a couple more questions. You, sir. One of the questions I have is about the way that raising ocean levels is affecting both the cities. And I know you, have, you dealt with amazing subjects, but I didn't see that. Can you stay away from that on purpose, or are you going to think There's a whole other document called the island president playing this weekend that uh, you should make sure to see. Yeah, I mean, I think you talked about it in, in the you know, section about sustainability, and, and it's it's again, there's too much to talk about in, in one in one film. So I think that's a, a, a you know sustainable cities and, and smart city design and energy use is something that affects not only you know climate change and rising energy or rising ocean levels, but just so many other other factors. So. Uh, but yeah, like, as Tom said, there are, there are other documentaries specifically about that, 